in this project, we are going to use the Express, Node.js, and also MongoDB to create this project. But what is Express.js? Express.js is a back-end web application framework for the Node.js, and this framework is designed for making the developing website and web apps or APIs much easier. And if you look at this web page, you can see there are a comparison with the program that use Node.js only, and the other is the Node.js with Express.js. And as you can see, the code in the right-hand side is much cleaner, and it is easier to maintain and more readable. So now we can back to our project, and since we are going to use the Express.js, so we have to follow this instruction. So we already created a folder, so we just need to use npm in it. So we paste it here with hyphen hyphen y. Now it will create a project, and then we are going to install the Express. So we copy this and paste it here. Now you can see inside the package.json, you have the Express here. So next time when you use npm install, it will install the Express automatically. And by the way, if you do not have the npm command, you have to install the Node.js at the node.js.org. Now we are going to create the app.js, app.js, and inside here, we are going to use the express by typing constant express and require express, and then we have the constant app is equal to express, and then we are going to listen to 3000, the port number, and this means if we want to access this app, we have to use the localhost and with the port 3000. But we can't access this site yet because we haven't started the server. And also we have to add the route so that it can return something if we go to the website. So we have to app.get and slash and then request and response. And then we are going to use the respond.send and we have the paragraph and we type home page. Now we are going to start the server by using node-mount app. And also if you haven't got the node-mount, you have to type npm install and then dash g and then node-mount to install the node-mount. And now we are going to start server with node-mount app. Now if you go to the website again, you can see there are home page is towards returned. This is because we have this handler, which means there is just a and which means there is just a latch after this URL. And if we want to go to another page, for example, later we will have a add item page. So we want to add a route about add item. And then we put the request and response. And this time we are going to send a header with add items. So now if we type add item, you can see these big headers, add items here. So now you can see how to return different page with different routes. And of course, this is not a good way to return the HTML code. So in the next part, we are going to do it in another way.